go. I gotta go. Cause I gotta get it. Cause I gotta get it. What's going on? It's your boy SP. All right. So in this video, we are going to talk how long should you stay working at Amazon? And not just Amazon, how long should you stay working at any job that you're at? Let's talk about it. I think that's a great question. When you're looking at where you're at in life and you're looking at where you want to go, some of the main things that we have to take care of in life is what? Food, <laughs> shelter, clothing, right? I would say that's like the basics. Look at your life and examine just those three things, right? Food, okay, any job is going to provide that shelter is a big thing and you just don't want any type of shelter you want quality shelter this is becoming more and more difficult to reach by the day by the month you see prices going up for houses everywhere all across america you see rents going up all across america depending on where you're at right now if you're just out of high school you're living with your parents or you're living in an apartment and your goal is to have a house then i would say you should probably stay with Amazon. My opinion, I would love to hear you guys' opinion. My opinion is two to three years. I know y'all be like, yo, that's crazy. But hear me out. The reason why I say that is because I'll use myself as a perfect example. It took me about two years to get everything in order that I needed from going to an apartment, going into a house. You don't just go up to a house and say, hey, what up? Let me in. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. Let me in. <laughs> it didn't work like that. We're in a new realm when it comes to living situations anyways we are transitioning as a country it's getting crazier and scarier by the day one of the things they look at is work history so that's the first reason why i say two to three years because they usually want you to have two years of work history that shows that you're stable on a job okay i can trust this person with a loan because they've been at their job at this amount of time they're not just bouncing from job to job they it shows that you can hold a job you can have that proof of job history which is needed when you're trying to go forth and look for a house. I say two to three years is good as well because that gives you a lot of time to eliminate things like debt, to eliminate or fix things like your credit, which is needed. Um, those two things are a beast in itself. Whether you're going to look to go buy a home or whether you're even trying to rent an apartment nowadays, like your credit got to be on point. So the reason why I would say two years is because with Amazon, Amazon's a little, it's a little unique. Um, and it's a little different from a lot of other jobs because when that work gets to flowing, <laughs> oh, that OT gets going. And I know a lot of people complain about the OT, but I think that was a rare thing that I loved about Amazon because you can literally make as much as you want to make up to that 60 hours. You can work six days a week. Yes, your body's going to hurt. Yes, you're going to be tired. Yes, your feet going to be swollen. Now, your feet probably won't be swollen, but you're going to feel it. But you can make as much as you need to make to pay off that debt when in most other jobs, you can't go over that 40 hours. You know what I mean? So it's like you can, you're limited there, but with at least with Amazon, they do offer a lot of overtime to where you can drop down that debt quicker. You can pay off credit quicker. You can save up quicker than just at the regular job, especially within a span of two years. If you did that for two years straight, I really believe that you can set yourself up right to step into any position. Even if you don't want to go into a house, you want to go into an apartment, wherever you want to do, I think that gives a nice amount of time, a nice amount of cushion to really fix the things in your life that's going to propel you in life when it comes to bigger and things like a home, cars, all these things. Or if you don't do that, it's going. those things will keep you back. Bad credit will keep you back. Um, being in debt will keep you back. Even when it comes to getting a home, all that stuff, your debt to income ratio, they want that to be low. How much debt you have compared to how much income you're bringing in. So I say two to three years, just off of a few of those reasons alone. Also, another thing that's dope about it, at least every six months, you have to look forward a raise. Yeah, the first raise ain't gonna be that much. I think it's 50 cents, 29, 25 cents, 50 something like 50 cents. But each um, six months, it's gonna go up more and more and more. So two years, I say, two years because that's when you'll cap out. And the reason why I say three years, because two years you cap out, the third year can just be boom. Now you're capping out at the max that you can be at. But when it comes to this overtime, I've been hearing from a few people like, yo, they kind of been cutting back on this OT. So I'm not knowing how that's going right now, but I'm pretty sure at least, even if it's just during peak season, that is a lot of OT that you can make up just that area alone. A lot of jobs aren't really given that much overtime. Even if they're still just giving overtime in a particular season, peak season, 
<laughs> capitalize on that before they even try to cut back on that. If you're in a time at Amazon and your building's still taking overtime, do it. If you can work six days a week, do it. Yes, if you can just do it for a month, then take a few weeks off because you want to recover. You don't want to burn yourself out. But you definitely want to take advantage if you can. So that first part is mostly for those who are looking towards getting a home, which is, I think, one of the biggest things that you can do and the best things you can do because shelter, you can't really negotiate that. You need to live somewhere. Your jobs can change. The car you drive can change, but the place you live, that's a big deal. Let's say if you like, man, I don't care about getting a house right now. I just want to max out, get to the most that I can make when it comes to my job first. I'll worry about all this other stuff later. If that's the mindset that you have, I would only stay at Amazon as long as you can until you find the next paying job. But you don't want to just go off the pay. You want to look at it as a whole. Let's say you're starting off as a tier one in Amazon. Boom, you hit your six months, you getting paid over here. While you're working at Amazon, work on your resume and start sending it off to other jobs. The thing is, if you're not worried about getting a house, why are you still, why are you comfortable on Amazon? I don't think Amazon is a job that you should get comfortable at as a tier one, because then you're just staying stagnant while the workforce is changing. If the main thing you're worried about is pay, only work in Amazon until you find the next paying job that's secure. I'm not even saying Amazon secure, but I would work in Amazon. Like I said, work on your resume, start sending it out to other places. Okay. Boom. This job right here, they, they, they paying $2 more. Let me take a look at the company. All right. How long they've been in business? What are the opportunities they have? You know what? I think this is a good gig. And I think this is going to be a little bit, I think this is going to be stable. Boom. Let me shoot over there. Once you get there, boom, you're looking for the next best thing. If you're just trying to get the highest amount of money that you can get, why are you still just staying at Amazon? I don't think you should stay two years if that's the case. I think that you should continue to excel. Why stay the same? But that's just my opinion. So I think this from two different points of views. If you are trying to find a home or, and you're trying to get more stable in life, I would really capitalize two to three years off Amazon, my opinion. If not, you just trying to get to the top of the food charts when it comes to the um, salary or when it comes to pay boom i would you don't need to work there that long or the third type if you want amazon to be your career i would set a goal you always want to plan no matter what bucket you're in a bucket but no matter what column you're in that i'm talking about all those categories you need a plan where you're at and where you're trying to go if you're in amazon and you want to move up in amazon the time limit i would say i would say you need to give yourself like five years i know it sounds crazy but if you're coming in with no education, you're going to have to wait two years anyways to get into a area manager position. That's two years already. And then from that area manager position, L4 to L5, that can be at least a year. Um, we'll say a year, we'll say two years just to play it safe. That's already four years just to get to that L5. Then you get to that L6, who knows how long that can take. That could be another two years, that's six years. Now, would it be worth it working for six years to get into that six figure, 100,000 supposedly salary income? That's for you to decide. Um, I think it's good. I'm not going to lie, but <laughs> my mindset has changed. I kind of think on Amazon at the moment. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm just not excited about it like I used to be, but you never know. That can all change. But for you, those are the, those are the time spans that I would give for those three different columns. Cause those are like the three bunches of people that are there. Um, and there may be others that are there as well, but those are the majority that I've come across with those three. If you fall on those lines, what's your opinion to that? What do you think? I think my opinion overall, the golden time to work in Amazon, two years to three years, because that's when you max out. But if you want to make money quicker, why are you waiting at Amazon? make those moves don't quit <laughs> don't just leave amazon so slow down turbo or don't just quit and then look for another job you don't leave your job until you have another job lined up so look though you can look while you're working at a job that's okay to do myself what am i gonna do i'm waiting this year out at corporate seeing how this goes i want to see once evaluation comes how that works and that's going to kind of determine where i'm going to go from there also if i'm still working from home that will determine where I go. If they take that away, yes, best believe I'm going to look for somewhere else because I don't think there's no other perk 
at working at corporate better than that. The pay, yeah, they do pay good, but we barely get overtime. So it's like, eh, it's not that good if I got to go into the office every day. By them offering work from home, that's enough to keep me here for now. We'll see where it goes after that. The reason why I say this is because I know, I believe, just looking around, I'm looking at news stations, I'm looking at stories going on in Florida, I'm looking all over the place. Our moves need to be more calculated now than ever before. Why do I say that? This is not the time to be quitting your job because you got mad at your manager. This is not the time to be quitting your job because you feel in some type of way. This is not the time to go, you know what, I'm tired. So I'm just, no, your moves need to be calculated more than ever because we are in a time that we have not been in before. Everything is going up. <laughs> Gas, food, toilet paper. That was funny. I don't know, but I think it is. I'm just saying, I don't know. <laughs> but everything, rent, we are going to face something that has not been seen before. Rent is going and climbing and climbing with no signs of slowing down because when you look at the housing situation, interest rates are going up like crazy. So people are now like, you know what? I can't really shoot for the house. I'm going back to the renting market. The renting market is already crazy. So it's, I'm telling you, your moves have to be more calculated now than ever. We cannot afford to make a wrong decision right now in this time that we're in as a country. That's why I'm saying you got to really write down a plan and you need to know where you want to go and try to get to. You need to write that thing out and you need to have a plan A. All right, cool. This is the best plan. If all else fails, this is my backup plan right here. Like, yes, you. this is a time where you need to figure that stuff out because if you live in an apartment, guess what? When that, re when that lease renewal comes, I've said this in a few videos back a few months ago. I was talking about what's going on now. Go look it up. How many people can't even afford to live in their house or their apartment anymore because that rent renewal came up or their lease came up? Boom. All right, you got to pay $300 more. You know what I mean? So be strategic. Get focused handle business what's y'all opinion i love hearing y'all thoughts y'all be making me think too it's like okay you got me looking at different perspectives and all that stuff so anyways man it's your boy yes b be sure to hit that notification bell be sure to hit the like button yes this is my latest song that came out it's called whoa um i hope you enjoy it other than that stay tuned hit that notification bell because more videos is coming let's go going up going in let them sleep bedtime tuck them in <laughs> if I'm alive, I'ma live Mama said if you gon' do it, do it big yeah. Motivated till the end Never break, 